Hi, welcome back for another video. I'm doing a requested video. This video has been requested for probably two years. I have done different videos showing my, my bracelets and things like that. And the things will come up, but this is entirely James Avery collection. And I have had so much more James Avery that I have parted with and um, for different reasons, mostly because bangles didn't fit anymore and so forth or for whatever reason, sometimes that just happens. But this is what I do have left in my collection. I think this is most of it. I hope I didn't forget. Right. So let me first start by introducing you a little bit to James Avery. James Avery is an iconic brand started here in Texas, made here in Texas, only here in Texas. It has never been made anywhere else, not in Thailand, not in Mexico. I don't care what you may have heard or any kind of uh, hallmark you may have seen where it said made in Mexico. He's always, always, always manufactured his jewelry by hand. His artisans manufacture the jewelry in Kerrville, Texas. All right, so with that, I will show you just a little bit of his catalog and so that you can see the name. Many people have never heard of it. Many people are very familiar with it, and many people became familiar with it after I started talking about it on my videos and finding items in my videos. And I would get pretty excited about it because it does have an iconic following. And it's interesting to me that people are always comparing James Avery to someone else, and there is no comparison. It's like trying to compare Tiffany and Cloutier or, or even uh, Bloomingdale's and and Nordstrom it's just it's not a comparison there's never going to be a comparison you either like this or you don't like that but I, I just have to laugh when people say oh they get the same prices as James Avery a John Kessler or a Sabo or whatnot it's not about the prices that they get it's about the iconic following that they have right now you may have experienced some um, long lines at stores I know that people that uh, work at malls and my sister has told me that she's tried to get into a Louis Vuitton store and the line is around the corner. Well this happens at James Avery long before pandemic. Come Mother's Day, come Christmas, the lines are around the corner and we have several stores. I live in Houston. We have several stores but that's just the way it is. People want to get that beautiful gift for mom, certain uh, sentiment or whatnot. So they do definitely have a religious bent on some of their items but that is not all they do. These are some of their classic um, bangles. Here is a nativity and um, also the Christmas scenes. But this is a Christmas catalog so there's much more than that. And uh, again just really really high quality things very very sentimental things that uh, if you want to commemorate an anniversary graduation the charms are there now these charms average let's say let's look at this telephone that's pretty dimensional usually the dimensional ones are a little bit more than others this one is sixty dollars these are sterling silver and of course they do make them in gold as well for example the eiffel tower is 220 dollars in gold and $40 in sterling. So I would say between 40 and 50 is the average price. But let's say someone really wanted this Airstream one 10 years from now and they can't find it. These can garner up to $200 on the second market easily. Now some of these other ones like Big Sister and all of these, they're pretty commonplace uh, and they, they're they pretty easy to still find since I guess they're so popular. The other ones are more like a niche type of thing and they easily get retired that one's fifty dollars but that is the cult following of james avery and it cannot be compared to any other it cannot be compared to any other designer it doesn't matter if you like that designer more it doesn't matter you know i love tiffany but i'm never going to compare the following that tiffany has to the following that james avery has or or even in the prices that they can garner there are some james avery pieces that are worth more on the second market than they ever were retail same thing with tiffany tiffany has a few retired pieces but they don't really speak of retired pieces as much as this this iconic brand here in tiffany they're always innovate they're always innovating they're always looking for the next thing to get you to fall in love and uh, I think James Avery does a lot of that too. They do have some really interesting designs. But let's get started with them. I guess I'll start with some small ones. Now, let's just show you this. This pendant is not a um, James Avery. It's actually an Elsa Peretti Tiffany. 
but it is on a James Avery chain. And let me get my little, and I pretty much always get the, um, either the curb or the rope when I've ever bought them for myself. This is the rope. And the reason that these will immediately sell faster than any other chain you ever put up for relisting is because it's made so well. There is, there's not going to be a kink. It's just really, really hefty, really made nicely. Very, very nice chains. They also do uh, Rolos. They have several types of chains, and they do sell the chains in individually as well. Now, they do uh, Lobster Claw now, but at one time, they also did the Jump Ring. I have several chains on other pendants right now, so I didn't bring them all. Fell out of a jar. I really love... Oh, I forgot my other one. Oh, let me go get that one. Okay, I forgot another charm holder that I have. This is really cool. I would probably have never bought something like this for myself, but I really love it. Born and raised in Texas, you will never understand the pride that Texans have. And maybe if you just moved here, you don't have it, but you will get it soon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're pretty proud of our state. So there's definitely lots of Texas themed um, jewelry from James Avery. And I just love the way they did this little interpretation here. It says, made in Texas y'all and with some little roping around the word y'all there I love the way they did this little charm holder because it's hidden I've had a few charm holders and this is probably my favorite it's kind of a hidden little uh, entry so I love that it's really beautiful it's very hefty very nicely made and of course, these are usually hallmarked with the candelabra, but the older ones usually have just the word Avery or um, Avery Sterling. They never, ever, ever have J.A. and they never, ever, ever have where they are made. We already know they're made in Kerrville, Texas. So um, that's the candelabra mark there. It says Avery Sterling right there on the lettering. And then this one actually has the Avery on the jump ring itself right there, the candelabra as well. I don't know how they managed to put that in there, but they did. So very nice. This is actually a Rolo, beautiful Rolo chain. And sturdy, perfect for this hefty. These are hefty charms. These are not thin. They are nice and thick. So that's there. I love that. Let's do the rings. This is a beautiful little flower it's got an overlay of copper on sterling my middle daughter bought me that to thank me for helping her with her wedding not necessary of course but i thought that was a really beautiful ring and a very nice thoughtful gesture and that's just kind of the sentiment that or the connotation that james avery has people buy tokens from there and it's so funny because we really didn't become we weren't really like James Avery um, fanatics immediately it just kind of fell into it my mother actually found a charm bracelet with one charm and it was a beautiful cross I think it's called the Ter Teresa Ch cross and she bought it for like 50 cents or something she said here give this to uh, your daughter to to my daughter and uh, I don't want to say her name but and I said okay so I gave it to her and then since then we started buying her charm bracelets and then uh, I'll talk about, and then it just kind of blossomed from there, and I'll talk about that when I show you the charm bracelet. All right, so that's a beautiful ring. I forgot what it's called, but it's lovely, and they are doing a few things with copper, and now they're going into doing things with um, with um, bronze as well. They've always kind of bl done everything in gold and silver and blended gold and silver together, you know, with little accents as well. This is a beautiful ring that my friend Vanessa gave me. It's a classic. It, uh, she gave it to me just when I needed it. And it says faith, hope, and love. And it's got the symbols of faith, cross, hope, anchor, and love, the heart. I love this band. It's a perfect, perfect ring finger size. And uh, just love that. It is a classic James Avery design. It's been around probably 30, 40 years. And James Avery was actually established in the 60s. I wish I could find his book. I cannot find it. They had it available. Coffee table book with the story and everything. They had it available for a couple of years in the store. And then when I tried to find it and when I tried to buy it, they had sold out. And I cannot even find it 
anywhere, not on eBay, not anywhere. And then these rings are the Brutalist. I found this one on eBay. And uh, Macari, I believe I found the other one, the gold one. These are identical. They are the gold and the silver. This one's a larger size. I think this is a seven, five. And sometimes I twin them and wear them together. I love them. I just love the Brutalist designs and I fell in love with that ring. It's very top heavy. It does have that squared off band there to keep it from rolling around, I guess is what I've been told. And um, I don't know, I just, I adore them. They're super, super hefty. This is a lot of gold on this ring. This is a lot of sterling on this one. And I felt like I, I just needed them both. And I think I found the gold one first. I really loved it in gold. I don't know where I had seen it. I never saw it in the James Avery catalog. This one is actually from the 60s. I believe it was from 63, if I'm not mistaken. And I saw it, I think, while I was scrolling through eBay looking for James Avery treasure. And uh, then I, I wanted it, and they had it in a larger size. And I was like, why do I want to get the size? It's not even going to fit me. So I didn't get it and I waited a little while and then I saw it in another size in a size that would fit me. So I picked it up and then I thought, well, you know what? I think I just saw the silver one too. I gotta have the silver one too. So I bought that one too. This is one I hunted for for my husband. And it's interesting. That's why I'm showing it to you because he's got a James Avery collection too. But this is one that I hunted for and found inadvertently. It was in a lot of a gentleman's collection that... Uh, supposedly the, the family was selling is what it said on the listing and it was a huge eagle pendant that was not uh, James Avery and it was a beautiful turquoise ring and then this eagle ring and they did say it was James Avery and this one is also marked with the hallmark there this my husband has worn it threadbare almost <laughs> I mean it is definitely it used to protrude a little bit more and he, he's a total my husband is a very patriotic person and he loves eagles, he loves motorcycles and that kind of goes together. <laughs> At least in, you know, in the motifs of the motorcycle motor of the biker culture. So he does love his his eagles and that kind of fits me. I, I really love it, but I can't, I hate taking his rings and I won't. But yeah, that's his. That's a ring there and then here's some beautiful very simple little earrings that my friend um, Lori Reeves sent me she's so sweet she knows I love James Avery these came in I bought a lot of jewelry from her a bundle of jewelry that she was selling when she was still doing some sales and I think she's going to come back soon and uh, she sent these as a gift so so sweet thank you Miss Lori you're the best I love those all right let's go to the bangles back here this is another one that my husband bought me three of these or no I think I bought two I bought the gold this is the 14 karat gold and then I bought one silver one and then I, I think he bought me another one so I had three and then I thought I needed three more and what I really need is another gold one because <laughs> I'd like to stagger them like this and kind of you know wear them all together they're beautiful i love them and i did find about three of them like i said online the rest were brought in the store including the gold one and this one is actually called the crown of of thorns so it's some people just call it the twisted wire but it's not it actually represents the crown of thorns of christ and just a lovely combo i need to wear them i think i'm going to wear them yeah i think i'm going to start and these come in small medium and large that's another great thing about James Avery they come in different sizes you can get small medium and large and I believe this is the medium so you have to be careful when you buy them online make sure you know what size they are and there is the and some of these actually have Avery and some of them have the candelabra different uh, I think a couple of them don't have the candelabra but they're all James Avery and beautiful and I do want to get me another gold one but that's another grail thing that is hard to find this is a beautiful bracelet that came out of a jar. This one has religious symbols. So it's got the lamb, the light, the butterfly, the ichthus, and all the symbols of Christianity. I really love it. The fish and loaves. And this bracelet, this is what I love also about James Avery, is that they will, they stand by their jewelry. They consider 
they consider you part of the community and this bracelet when I found it this is the crown of thorns there a star when I found it it was it was actually, actually had like a little bent on it it wasn't rounded as well as it could have been it had been damaged probably from being in the bag and I sent it to the store and took it to the store and they sent it off to Kerrville and they gave it back to me looking beautiful I oh, think acquire a little darker patina later so those symbols really do pop that's a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. Here's another one that popped, and this one's a larger one. You can tell this is larger. This one popped out of a jar as well. This is the cat breeds, and they also do a dog breed. And this one is selling for around four to 500 on Ruby Lane. I've seen the dog breed sell as well for about that price, and I'm sure it was probably about 200 when it was made. One of my subscribers told me that uh, this was from, that was, she received one from her son in 1984, and she never took it off so um, it's a pretty vintage one there and it is rare and it is retired and highly sought after so I love it I, I really think it's cool it doesn't fit me very well though it's a little on the large side so that's that and then these are <laughs> incredible I had found this one in a jewelry jar a long time ago and I didn't pay much attention to it till a couple of years later when I was looking through my hoard and sorting through there and realized that this tie was this tie clip is a James Avery and it's got the ichthys and the three crosses there I really need to list that I just been lazy and then this one came from a jewelry jar that I bought from uh, a YouTube auction and it came all the way from Carolina <laughs> with a longhorn no less <laughs> which is a symbol of Texas and the mascot of the University of Texas at Austin so that was pretty cool that's also a James Avery and it was in a jar and the it says Avery right there in the corner it's pretty blackened with patina but I think it looks kind of cool so that's that and then this is a lovely piece that um, I was alerted to they were selling this on a um, Facebook auction and um, I don't remember if my friend Jude bought it or she told me about it and then she bought I she sold it to me I think she sold it to me I think she bought it and then she sold it to me but this is lovely this is actually a brooch and this one is called it is a um, homage to there's the symbol there somewhere let me see if I can find it. Signatures right there at the top. This is beautiful. This is actually an homage to Van Gogh's Sunflowers. And it's called, I think it's called The Master or The Artist. It's really a beautiful piece. Very hefty, very dimensional, hammered. Remember, these are all hand done. This is not mass produced. That's another thing people forget about James Avery. These are not mass produced. So say what you will, compare whatever you want. I love Selpata. I love lots of different manufacturers, but they are not James Avery, and they never will be. They are their own entity and their own fan base, of which I am a, a fan as well, but they are not James Avery. I do have a leather cord. I used to have this one in, in chocolate brown, and I sold it. It's the black one. I really like that. I sometimes wear it with this sun right here. And uh, this is a funny story. Another wonderful thing about James Avery. When I bought this one, I had bought it from Macari. And when I, I learned my lesson about uh, opening up packages, but when I opened the package, I accidentally cut into the cord. It was just, I guess it was, I thought, I don't know, it was flimsily packaged. It was not protected in any way. And I was not astute enough to know that I should have been very careful. Well, I tore it in half and I took it to James Avery and I said um, can we fix this I think you know it's what what can happen here and she said we can sell you another one for half price and that's exactly what they did so I don't know very many other companies that do that this is a hammered torque that I got for um, for this piece and the torque is James Avery as well it's hammered it's really beautiful it's actually curled kind of curvy to fit perfectly and drape perfectly around the neck and then this is the one they call El Sol It Must Weigh 50 more 
50 or more grams. I should weigh it. Let me see what it weighs. Let me weigh. Yeah, let's do that now. Since I got the scale right here. Oh, God, I <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Am I good at this or what? It weighs 49.2 grams. So, yeah, pretty much 50 grams. My husband brought this home for one of my birthdays. And I put it on. I was like, that is so big. I don't know if I can wear that. And then um, I wore it because I didn't want him to feel bad. <laughs> but I fell in love with it slowly, and I would I just adore it. I think it's the most unusual, beautiful piece. It's hammered. There's the candelabra copyright symbol and so forth there on the bottom. And I just love it. It is just so pretty. I can't wear it without a few compliments. It's just something that uh, it's gorgeous I love it and I think it's actually Nick ethnicity or something but I think that's their inspiration they do take a lot of inspiration from the Hispanic culture the Native American culture and so forth and um, it's just a wonderful wonderful piece they also manufactured this in gold and like I was like I've told you a few times in a couple of videos I've tried to buy it and I think it was oh my goodness it was more than my Tiffany heart that's for sure I think it was like ten thousand dollars honestly unreal prices but it's because it is retired it is rare and it is 50 grams of gold <laughs> this one's 50 grams of silver but the one i want so that's that there then this beautiful piece here is 14 karat gold and sterling it's a lovely thick cross i love it so much this was a gift from makeup zombie one christmas and she sent it to me on the James Avery chain. I put it on a gold chain because I kind of like to bring out the gold sometimes. I switch it off. But she sent it. It came with a really short, I think a 15-inch chain, which, which is perfect because it's so small. But look how hefty that is. That is beautiful. And that is not a gold wash. That is solid gold on there. And it is always, as you know, when it's solid gold and not... Um, and not washed it has to have both hallmarks for purity and this one does indeed it has the sterling and the 585 mark there as well as the james avery so i really love this piece that's a gorgeous amazing sweet piece and that was from my lovely friend makeup zombie liz okay that's that showed you the stuff the bangles i'm wearing the bangles some of them i think i'm gonna I think I'm going to wear the bangles. I really like them now. <laughs> it's just that I haven't worn them in so long. I um, tend to get kind of uh, comfortable with a certain set of bangles and then or bracelets, and then I kind of marry them for a while. All right, let me show you my charm bracelet. And the charm bracelet is a, um, a story unto itself. Because when we lost my 19-year-old niece to meningitis almost 20 years ago, um, we visited a couple of um, grief counselors and there's a wonderful place here in Houston called Bo's Place and it's actually for siblings and families who have lost a member of the family. So um, I went with my sister and my, my children were younger as well so we all went together and we loved it and it was a thing we would get together weekly and have potluck dinners and it was just a wonderful wonderful place. Well I met a lady there who had a James Avery charm bracelet and hers were all angels every single one of them were, were were angels so I wanted to start one like it you know me I'm a copycat so <laughs> kind of copycatted so I got a uh, I got a few started and then my my daughter continued to buy them for me my eldest daughter and this is one of my favorites and a very rare one too this is the flying chirp and this is also super super high but I lost that bracelet. It was full of angels. And I think the only other charm I had besides the angel was the, the uh, James Avery logo, which says, uh, please return to. And then you can, they, can actually, they will engrave your phone number there or email or whatever you want. And uh, that was the only one I had on there. Well, I had a surgery, arm surgery once. And I was going for aqua therapy. And I... This, this bracelet is heavy and sterling tends to stretch. So I believe I had it. Now they have it a little bit. This is a different bracelet. So I think I hooked it on a second 
hook or something or I didn't hook it correctly but I lost it at the gym it never turned up they actually drained the pool during this time not because of my bracelet but it, they had been renovating so it was lost forever so uh, my kids started me with another one but then they all bought me different charms my nephew bought me one so we started a new one and now these are some of the angels and I hunted for these angels because they are retired they are rare they are highly desirable and they are expensive so what originally would have been a $50 charm was $80 and so forth and here's another one a little flying angel my daughter got me this one a couple of years ago it says family um, I love this one playing the pay, playing an instrument there that's just a beautiful one and then I bought my my initial not too long ago I like that one and more angels and I did have all of these angels there's still one praying angel that is missing and I had actually bought it for um, let me see I think she had it for 200 I offered her a hundred and she took it and um, oh my gosh there was there's a praying angel that is missing I um, found it on pa no I found it on Etsy but they wanted quite a bit for it and I wrote to her and um, told her my story she probably said oh, whatever but she <laughs> no I told her my story and she was very kind and she gave me a, a wonderful deal on it but when I got it it was bigger so apparently they made different sizes it was a little bit bigger and it really threw my bracelet off because it was so heavy so I wound up selling that one and I'm still on the hunt for the praying angel she's on her knees and praying and it's just beautiful this is another one my nephew gave me precious aunt and um there's a little ladybug. He also bought me that one. A teddy bear. The girls bought me a teddy bear. I do have a Virgen de Guadalupe uh, that I want to put on here that the girls bought me as a pendant. And I think I'm going to add it to my charm bracelet after all. So I can wear it more often. Oh, and then this is one. This is where, again, the, the sentimental value that can never, ever be monetized <laughs> can never be interpreted monetarily when my and my uh, grandson's name is on this little onesie but when my daughter had been struggling to to become a parent for I think over seven years she finally got pregnant and uh, she told me the news with a box with this little onesie with my grandson's name on it isn't that beautiful? <laughs> well, I had his name put on it, but she just gave me the onesie. And, and I said, oh my gosh, I hadn't even seen these. But this is what's um, so wonderful about, about charm bracelets in general, about James Avery, about something you cannot compare to. So again, that is the, uh, that is the sentimental value. That is the, and this one, oh my gosh, just look for this one. Flying chirrup, look for it in gold and silver. And if you find it, it's definitely over a hundred dollars. And the gold is outrageous. I think it's at five. But that is the uh, the value that uh, cannot be cannot be measured in money. And you you don't have a cult following because someone likes your particular design over another one. There's just no ev there's just never any comparison to James Avery. It's just not possible. So with that, I think I showed you everything. Oh, I did want to show you a not James Avery. This one was sold and um, I'm sure accidentally and purchased and give, given to me as a James Avery. And I appreciate the gift. And it's a beautiful, beautiful ring. But it is not a James Avery. And it is marked J.A. Yeah. J.A. is on one side and Thailand is on the other. So just as a precautionary measure... I am showing you the marks on this one. J.A. is not James Avery. James Avery has never been made anywhere but Kerrville, Texas. It has never been made in Mexico. It's never been made in Thailand. This is a beautiful sterling ring that was given to me as a gift. Sold and bought thinking it was a James Avery, but it is not. Still love the ring, but it is not James Avery. Back on the vein of comparing, this is a beautiful manufacturer of jewelry here in Texas too and I was going to sell this at my auction last week I love this this is Jeep Collins I put a little article in my top shelf about Jeep Collins because he 
is actually from the Collins family of um, the handbags, the, the handmade uh, custom handbag. Same family. Beautiful. This is actually Black Spinel. And I finally found all the cards for it. And this is a beautiful piece of his. I would never say anything like, oh, I like his stuff better than James Avery or his work gets as much as James Avery. This is Jeep Collins. Jeep Collins has his own beautiful aesthetic, own beautiful work and following. And there's just no reason to uh, to even compare the two, other than the fact that they're both Texas icons. Uh, here is my other charm. This one I love. This one's a clown. It's also a James Avery. But these are just some that uh, I've bought when I got my teaching certificate and got my bachelor's late in life. Uh, in my 50s, actually. Yeah, in my 50s, my husband bought me the cap and the school and then I taught children that uh, well I, I learned sign language because of the children that I worked with in the clinics where I worked because we used it uh, not only with children who were uh, hearing impaired but with children who have communication deficits and uh, children with autism who were nonverbal so I love that I love you sign language charm all of these charms are James I had Avery. almost forgotten to show you the charm well I did talk about it um, this one was given to me on a necklace and I have worn it on a necklace I also wear it on my charm holder and I'm going to actually put it on my charm bracelet I think I'm going to go ahead and, and take I really love this piece it looks great as a pendant or a charm and I actually bought one for my mother as a pendant years ago so it's really pretty, I love it. And it's gonna look great on a charm bracelet. I also bought my sister. We started my sister off with a charm bracelet and all of us, the children, my children, and um, myself bought her charms and I bought her this one and a couple of other ones. So she's got a really lovely charm bracelet. But this one, I think I'm gonna put it on my charm bracelet as well. I think it'll get more use that way. I really love that. Lovely gift from Makeup Zombie. She also gave me this one, and I think I have it on a short chain. She gave it to me on a long it's chain. It's called the Primavera. Primavera means um, spring in Spanish, so I really, really love this. It's got the ictus symbol there at the bottom, the um, several Christian symbols all around it, the dove as well, and the springtime blooming flowers, and I think it's even got some fleur de lis here. So it's a lovely, beautifully made thick cross. Of course, just about everything they make does come in silver and gold. This looks beautiful in gold as well. And I believe they make this in three sizes or two sizes. I think this is the uh, the large one, if I'm not mistaken. So beautiful piece. Another wonderful gift from my friend Liz over at Makeup Zombie here on YouTube. She does Sunday showcases and I go, I moderate for her. We've been friends through this wonderful medium, this jewelry community for about three years already, maybe even Hope more. Hope you enjoyed my little collection and my little uh, anecdotes about James Avery and how there are uh, too many people who think of James Avery as just a jeweler, and it's not, <laughs> and it never will be. And um, it's just a very, very different kind of following. It's an iconic following. And uh, you either get it or you don't get it. But don't put it down because you don't know it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Bye.